have known each other from the first glance of acquaintance to this point of commitment. At some point, you decided to marry. From that moment of yes to this moment of yes indeed, you have been making commitments in an informal way. All of those conversations that were held in a car or over a meal or during long walks, all those conversations that began with when we're married and continued with I will and you will and we will. All those late night talks that included someday and somehow and maybe and all those promises that are unspoken matters of the heart. All these common things and more are the real process of a wedding. The symbolic vows that you are about to make are a way of saying to one another, you know all those things that we've promised and hoped and dreamed. Well, I meant it all, every word. Look at one another and remember this moment in time. Before this moment, you have been many things to one another. Acquaintance, friend, companion, lover, dancing partner, even teacher. For you have learned much from one another these past few years. Shortly, you will say a few words that will take you across the threshold of life and things between you will never be quite the same. For after today, you will say to the world, this is my husband, this is my wife. I, Peter John Cartwright. Take you, Lydia Louise Cooper. Take you, Lydia Louise Cooper. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better for worse. For better for worse. For richer for poorer. For richer for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death us do part. Lydia, I give you this ring. As a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. With my body, I honour you. With my body, I honour you. All that I am, I give to you. All that I am, I give to you. All that I have, I share with you. All that I have, I share with you. I therefore proclaim that they are husband and wife. <laughs> My little girl just got married. That beautiful young lady in white is my little girl. For 33 years I've said, that's my girl, that's my girl. But today I'm so proud to say, that's my girl. Lydia, our walk down the aisle is a memory I shall always cherish. I'd like to thank Baz and Elaine for making me feel so welcome and also making me a very lucky man by giving me their incredible daughter's hand in marriage. You've raised your daughter to be an amazing woman. My funny, intelligent, kind and beautiful wife, Lydia. Uh, Lyd, you look amazing today. I consider myself a very lucky man.
How would I describe her? Beautiful, kind, caring, loyal, funny. Elaine and myself couldn't have wished for a more wonderful daughter who has brought us tremendous joy and pride throughout her journey up to this point. It's said, when your children find true love, parents find true joy. And we're so very pleased to welcome Pete into our family group. Safe in the knowledge he will love and care for our daughter. Lyd and I met working at an IT company in Telford, and I know what you're thinking, romantic. After a while, I worked up the courage to ask her out. We went on a date to the Glee Comedy Club, and I know what you're thinking, he's clever. He didn't have to rely on his own sense of humour. <laughs> after loads of dates, we eventually fell in love, and after a while, moved in together. Me and Lyd have always been a great team. We rarely disagree or fall out. She's the most loving, kind, patient and loyal person I've ever met. So ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to propose a toast to my beautiful Lydia. She's terrible at accents, but she's incredible at being the best partner, teammate, friend and wife I could ever wish for. To my amazing and beautiful wife, Lydia. Yeah. Thank you.